Hi guys and girls, I'm Reef Man, and today I wanted to give you guys a review of the new, or at least new to me, Apogee SQ520 PAR meter. So what is a PAR meter and why do we need one of these things to measure the light that's in our tank? Well, we need one because our eyes are really bad at telling us how much light is in or on something. When we go outside, our irises contract and let in less light. When we come inside into a dark room, they expand and let in more light. Your eyes need a specific range of light coming into them to be able to operate. And that's why we squint if there's too much light. Our eyes can't contract enough. And because of this, our brain sees a normalized amount of light. And even if I'm looking directly into the lights in my tank, I just don't have an accurate description to my brain of how much light is falling. So using a PAR meter, we can actually measure the amount of photons that are falling. So inside this meter, and I'll take the cap off of it, um, but inside this meter is a filter at the top and then a detector at the bottom. What makes the new-ish 500 series from Apogee Instruments better than the older 100 series is that it fully measures the photosynthetically active radiation range, which is from 400 nanometers to 700 nanometers. The older ones, the 120 and similar models, you can still buy. They're a lot cheaper. I think they are only, um, they're only about $215, whereas the new series is about $350. But if you have LED lights, like I do, Radeon lights or um, the other LED manufacturers, there's a whole bunch, uh, and they have red LEDs in them, which a lot of fixtures do, the old models won't actually detect that light. They go from about 400 only to about 650 nanometers, which means that if you have red or um, even more infrared lights on your tank, LEDs, that is all not going to be measured. It does impact your coral. It does impact the... Uh, biological processes inside them, but without having the newer model, the 500 series quantum sensor, you won't be able to get that last 50 nanometers, the deep red part of the spectrum in your readings. So if you have LEDs, I would definitely recommend picking up a 500 series and not a 100 series. You can often borrow these sensors because they are expensive uh, from your local reef club. So definitely check that out if you want to see um, what the readings are in your tank. I mentioned that this is a quantum sensor. One quantum is a measure of photons, which are individual packets of light. Um, we won't go into the details there, but light can be a wave and light can also be a particle called a photon. So when we're talking about it in terms of a particle, then the energy state of each of those particles is between 400 and 700 nanometers. And um, if you measure all of the photons that are falling inside that range, then that is one quantum of photons. At least that's what this sensor is calibrated to measure. And one quantum of photons is Avogadro's number of photons. Um, I don't know, something like 6.022 something times 10 to the 300,000th or something. Um, a lot of photons. So that is what they're meaning when they say, say this is a quantum sensor. I have a USB model of this. I find that it is easier to use. It's just got a long cable and uh, then you plug it into your computer, run their software, and you can see on your laptop um, or desktop or whatever uh, what the values are. This model can also record 
in its, its own memory, I think something like 10,000 measurements, which you can then plug in to the software and read off. So if you don't have a computer, you could plug it into a USB battery pack or like a phone charger or something like that. And it will record a number of measurements, I think 10,000 measurements just internally. The actual hardware of this is uh, just a cylinder, a metal cylinder with a plastic cap on it. And then that plastic cap is obviously where all the light comes in. To use this sensor, you can also buy a waterproof pole. It's made out of fiberglass, which there's a screw on the bottom and you can mount this sensor onto that pole. Um, I just use my arm as the pole and stick my hand in the tank um, to get my readings. I hope you enjoyed this video and let me know down in the comments if there's any other questions that you have. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye.